Uh, these are known as what? Salt. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we did this before you said. Yeah. So, we recall this. It was in four years. Yeah, it was in four years. So, we weren't reading. So, we were some looking at it. Okay, we'll turn it on and see what happens. Yeah. And I'm on the 100 zone. I, am, I need to do two things here. I'm going to change the frequency on this button and the amplitude on this button. Except it's going to be kind of tricky, so I'm going to change the frequency. John is going to increase or decrease the amplitude as I call it, as I call it out. So, we turn it on. It vibrates up and down, not the biggest deal in the world. But straight away you can see where it's vibrating the most is going to be where? On the outside where the salt is. Now watch what happens when I start increasing the frequency. Feel free, once again, to show your appreciation at any stage. As soon as this starts getting boring, we stop it. The first time I saw this, I just... I couldn't believe I actually get paid to do this sort of thing. So once again, where is it not vibrating? Where is no salt? Where is no salt? Where is salt? So it's vibrating there and there. I'm also a little top heavy at this end. So I'm going to try and turn it down a little bit. Uh, you turn down the volume. Once we've got it generated, we can turn the volume back down, so we turn it up while we're changing the frequency, so up you go this time, and we go again. It's going to explode. Yeah, there, I go up one more level. That's what we had. What frequency am I at here? Can you tell by these two? One. Looking at it there, can you tell Zoni on that chain? Zoning in. I'm at one. Anybody else guess what frequency I'm at? 100 hertz. It's one. Any other numbers there? What scale is it on? Ah, you tell me. I can't see. Well, maybe you could move. Kilohertz. Kilohertz. Is it kilohertz? Yeah, kilohertz. So it's 1,000 hertz, right? So this guy, again, that in itself is pretty impressive. It's going up and down 1,000 times a second. Right, we go fishing again. Put more salt into it. Turn up the volume again. Okay, keep the volume constant. There you go, and back down. At this stage, I'm a bit maybe over here. I'll move that. Is that there. still vibrating, even though we can't hear it? That is now vibrating. Can you hear it? Yeah. It's yeah. vibrating 1,000 times a second. Let's go again. The salt on it. I hope I'm not running out of salt. Turn it all the way down. These, then all the way down, is it? Yeah. Right. These are what are called Cladney plates. And patterns are known as Cladney patterns after a guy, I think it was from Yugoslavia or Serbia, one of those places. He was the guy who first came up with this. Uh, and these are, you've got standing waves. So as opposed to the traditional one dimensional standing wave on a string, here you've got some form of two dimensional standing wave. Right? So it just looks really, really beautiful. We keep going. down. The next thing to notice is that even if he keeps the sound volume constant and I increase the frequency, technically if you increase the frequency and you keep the volume constant, it shouldn't seem any louder to us. Why does it seem louder to us at some frequencies than others? Uh, resonant frequency of the bone in your ear. So what's going on? You're more sensitive to it. Yeah, as a res yeah, your bone actually is quite is vibrates at a specific fre frequency, so you're more sensitive to some frequencies than others. We go again, turn it up. Do it up all the way. I got one. Ooh, can we get a little bit more down? <laughs> <laughs> right, keep going. <laughs> Salt. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, we're getting there. Thank you very much. We keep going. Actually, different every time or something, huh? Yep. Ooh. Wow. Thank you very much. That's mildly impressive. So are we bored with it? No, I'm 
smiling at me, bro. Do we turn it off? No, keep, no, going. Keep, going, keep, keep going. going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. We go far enough, we'll see a message from God. <laughs> We're gonna break on the mic. Pretty impressive. Okay. Wow. It's so hard, kind of. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> So it's 1,000, 1 kilohertz by 10, so it's 10,000 kilohertz. So it means two things. One, that's the frequency. The second thing is we can still uh, be sensitive to 10,000 hertz. So now we're going to go all the way back. We're going to put it at the 10,000 hertz range. You're crazy. So you're going to do two different things. One, we will find the frequencies between 1 and 2 are actually the frequencies between what and what? 10,000 and 20,000 hertz. And the second thing we should notice is as we approach 20,000, it just goes outside our levels of, of audibility. Uh, so we've got a minute left here, so we keep going. Where we go again? Can you get a bigger plate and will the patterns keep going? Yeah. I was thinking it's about it. a joint place. Let me turn the. There we go. Oh, there's a nice one. Okay. It's like uh, goggles. <laughs> Let's go again. Is this there? Yeah. I'm done. Like that. Slayer tiny bit. Do you know the frequency of what? Looking at it there? Oh, no, it's gone there now. Geo's coming up at 20,000 hertz. I'm done. So at 20,000, we're going back down. Let's see if I can get a pattern right there. Please, stop. So last one. It's horrible. Can you still hear it? Just yeah. I'm, I'm so glad I'm first yeah, yeah. uh, no, no, We're not really getting. Oh, we are getting a tiny bit of a pattern. Oh, yeah, we are. I can no, still turn it. Oh, no, I can't hear it. The patterns get smaller as you go up. That's at about 18,000. What gets smaller? The patterns, do they? Because the wavelengths are less. Yeah. They're getting more detailed. Yeah. yeah. And it's going up and down more quickly. When you say it's getting smaller. Yeah, but it's just fine. It's like spaces that it's not vibrating. Oh, yes, I suppose that'd be right. I hadn't thought about that. That'd be right. Uh, I hadn't got that pattern before, but that's very, very impressive. Let's see if we can get one more on that basis. Which